Hey guys, welcome back to Husky Squad and I'm so excited that today we're going to be making another recipe for our channel because so many of you have been asking for another one after we made the chicken sweet potato soup that we have on our channel already. So for those of you who are new, here is Titus, our only boy, and he is super lazy and mellow. As you can see, he's chilling till he hears that food coming, of course. Here's Kimari, a crazy girl that never grows up. She's always excited. And here is Yuna, our alpha girl, who is always balanced and super, super sweet. Almost kind of has a seriousness to, to her, unless she's doing tornadoes. She does her Yuna tornadoes, which you guys can see on our Instagram stories. Anyways, before we start our recipe video today, I just want to be clear again, because maybe I wasn't clear enough about this last time in our video. These meals that we're making for now for our channel are not complete meals. Dogs need a very balanced diet, a variety of foods, so you can't just feed this meal over and over again and feel like you're getting adequate nutrition. This is a treat meal for either a dog that already eats a wholesome diet and you just wanna make something special, maybe it's on the weekend and you wanna do something really nice for your dog, or this is a great meal if your dog is currently on kibble, which we highly recommend to eventually get away from, like we've done so far to get your pup used to eating wholesome real food. So those are the two scenarios that I see using a meal like this. We don't feed the husky squad like this every day, but this is a great meal on the weekends. It's just a treat, it's nice, and it's healthy. It's got wholesome ingredients, but it's not 100% balanced. I'm not gonna go too much into detail about what a balanced diet is, but there's definitely some components that always need to be present, which is meat, the muscle, a nice amount of organs, and bone. And please, before you get into doing any kind of diet that you feed your dog yourself, that you combine and create yourself, research it. It's not complicated. Research it or talk to a holistic vet. They will help you put together the right plan for your dog. So let's get started so we can feed the Husky Squad a special dinner tonight. And I hope that you guys like this video, that you make this for your pup. This is a great, delicious meal, meal full of nutrition. Let's get started. Okay guys, right before starting to cook dinner for the Husky Squad, since we are not at home in a different environment, I decided to give him some extra love, some treats, some affection, have a very relaxing vibe so they enjoy this process just as much as I do. Okay, let's get started with turkey. This is organic turkey from the market, it's simply ground turkey, it doesn't have the bone or the organs that dogs would usually require on a complete diet, but it's still a wonderful choice when you're making this type of meal. This is ground organic turkey. It actually has two organic seals and it's a great choice to go with the organic version because you're avoiding hormones, chemicals, all kinds of issues that you have with regular meat. So I highly recommend going organic if you can. Keep in mind that dogs can be allergic to chicken and beef, so turkey can be a great alternative to that. Okay guys, so here are the eggs. Of course, I'm choosing organic again. It's free range. Usually I opt for pasture-raised eggs, but I couldn't find them in this case, so I went with organic free range. And I'm also going to show you guys how I include the shell in this meal. Don't discard them. Keep them on the side. Carrots are so wonderful for dogs, but unfortunately, when they eat it whole and you give it to them as a treat, sometimes they don't digest it. You can actually tell when they go to the bathroom that carrots don't get fully digested by dogs. So, to be able to serve this highly nutritious food, all you have to do is shred it really finely, or you can also cut it, lightly cook it, and this way your dog can digest it properly. So in this case, we're going to be shredding them really finely. Greens, my favorite food for dogs. It doesn't matter if you're currently still feeding gibble or if you're feeding raw or if you're feeding cooked, greens are always included in our pup's diet. You can shred them, cut them up really finely, chop them, arugula, kale, any type of greens, dandelion greens. It's so beneficial for dogs. We always add it to their food, no matter what we feed them. Oh wow, look at Titus. 
He is so lazy. I'm so proud of him. If you guys watched our previous video, I think it was a sweet potato or another video. I can't remember which one it was. They were so much more excited because it was the first time, but now they're really learning to enjoy this process. Here we go. Okay. I am shredding the carrots. I'm not home, so I don't have all the gadgets and tools I usually have, but I found the cheese grater, so I'm shredding the carrots and I'm not gonna cook them this time. Okay, so the Husky Squad is behaving so well. I have to go and reinforce this positive behavior by giving them treats, giving them affection, and letting them know this is exactly how I want them to behave during meal prep time. What do you guys think? Comment below. Don't you think they're amazingly behaved? They're so sweet. All right, let's go to chopping up the greens. What well, you wanna make sure when you feed any type of greens, in this case, it's actually baby kale, which has been our recent obsession, not just for the pups, but also for ourselves. I love them in salads, they're so great. But what you wanna make sure when you feed greens to your pup is that you wanna chop them up as finely as you can. If I had the food processor here, I would just throw them at the food processor and it's a really, really quick process. But you know what? Nothing takes too much time for me to give the pups what they need. So I spend my time here, just grab a good old knife and chop and chop and chop away till it becomes really, really fine and perfect for them to digest. And on top of that, some dogs, when they first start eating raw food, they tend to pick out greens that are too large in size. So if you chop them up really finely and you mix it into the foods or you add something tasty on top of it, they'll usually enjoy it and they won't pick it out. All right, next up, turkey just in a pan with a little bit of water or a little bit of oil, whatever it is that you need. Since I'm not home, things are usually a little bit more challenging, but still, we always make it happen. What you wanna make sure with a turkey is because you're feeding it cooked and because it's actually human grade meat, which means it was not meant raw for dog consumption, you have to make sure that you cook it well till there's no raw meat left. So be patient with this process go through it, make sure everything is cooked perfectly. We're almost done. All right guys, you definitely deserve more treats. This behavior is making me so proud. Isn't Yuna adorable? She's the only one that does this with her legs. It always makes me laugh, it's so cute. Okay guys, I think it looks like it's done. Let's let it cool down because we don't want to feed it pups hot food. So we set it aside while I do everything else. Next up are the eggs. Remember, don't throw the shells away. I'll show you in a little bit how you can use it. It has so many great benefits. Calcium, all types of other nutrition. I know calcium is the biggest one, so don't throw the shells away, especially if they're organic healthy eggs. I am definitely missing my non-stick cookware from home. This behavior is so sweet. These guys definitely deserve more treats. What do you guys think? Such good babies. See, at home, I usually don't have to use oil or hardly any because I have these gray cookware. They're actually not Teflon. I can't remember what they are. They're ceramic, yes, ceramic cookware. So I don't have to use oil, but in this case, if I don't use oil, they're just gonna stick to the pan. So I have to go with it, but it's not that bad. It's healthy. I chose a great oil, so it's fine for now. So I'm getting all these cooked up and we're almost good to go with the eggs. Okay, let's let these cool down while I continue meal prepping. Here comes the eggshells. So this is why we don't discard them. The only thing about when you first start feeding your dog eggshells is if it's a whole eggshell, sometimes they will just throw it aside, they won't eat it. So in this case, what I'm doing, I'm really 
I don't know, pressing them, breaking them, whatever you want to call them. I'm pulling them apart so they become really, really small pieces so they won't be able to find it in their food and it will just be part of their meal. As they get used to the eggshell, you can give it to them whole and they'll actually eat it just like they would eat in the wild. I think they know they're gonna get dinner. I can see it. We're almost done. Just remember, whenever you feed your dog any type of food, you wanna make sure, I know this is obvious, but you wanna make sure to always wash the bowls. We never reuse bowls after a meal. They're always squeaky clean. We have multiple sets of bowls so we can just toss them easily in the wash anytime. Okay, so this is what I'm doing here. I'm grabbing the crushed up eggshells and I'm putting it into the complete and ready turkey. And I'm mixing them up gently and fully until it's just part of the meal. Alright, let's start building the bowls. Turkey first. I'm always into aesthetics, I don't know why, it has to be perfect. Next up, the shredded carrots. Those are not cooked. Let's add the greens. Isn't that a beautiful meal? Okay guys, next up is fish oil. I'm gonna leave a link below which fish oil we usually use for the Husky Squad, but because we're traveling, we're using this brand. Fish oil is such a great supplement to your dog's diet. Next up, let's put the eggs on top. I know they're gonna devour this. They're gonna love this meal. The fish oil actually is so great on top of the greens because they love the flavor of the fish oil, so they're gonna definitely enjoy the greens this time. Okay, here comes my favorite supplement for dogs. Turmeric. There's so many great benefits for dogs and for us humans in turmeric. And I've researched this brand. I absolutely love them. I'll leave a link below also where you can find it and you can get it for your pup. Alright guys, I think we're ready to feed the Husky Squad. You always have to make sure to stay calm and balance yourself. I know they get excited, but they know quickly how to come back down to calm. Okay, let's set this down. And before anything, we gotta get that YouTube thumbnail for this video, so let's take a picture first. And they're so good. The Husky Squad knows that when I say eat, that's when they can eat. They are so good, so well behaved. I know they're gonna love this dinner. There's almost nothing more rewarding than see them enjoy a healthy, delicious meal. I don't know, it feels so good to give them food that I know what the ingredients are. No matter if we feed them a cooked meal, a raw meal, it's just so much better than putting, you know, a bowl of cereal in front of your pups. This is such a great way to add healthy food to your dog's diet, plus they enjoy the flavor so much more. This table is a little bit too high for them. We're not home. And Yuna especially, she's our shortest one. So this is a little bit weird, but they still really enjoy this meal. Nothing left anymore. Yeah. 
checking if there's anything left there. Nothing left. Everything is gone. <laughs> she found some scraps, I think. Are you guys ready for this? I really didn't think it was gonna happen in this video, but you're in for a treat. Yuna Tornadoes, she does this every single day. <laughs> every time after she eats. Tornado, go girl. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video that you're gonna try this meal for your pup it's so worth it to give them this delicious healthy meal and you'll see the more you do it the more you'll enjoy it so much more than giving them a cup of kibble if you guys like this video give this video a thumbs up comment below if you're gonna make it for your pup and let us know if you want more of those recipes or if you guys would want us to start doing a raw recipes too it's so rewarding and it's so beneficial to feed your dog a healthy diet. You save in so much trouble later on. Subscribe to our channel. We have lots more coming. I can't wait for our next videos we're going to share with you. And we'll see you guys next time on Husky Squad. Mm -hmm.